హలో స్వాతి మీ ఆడియో కనెక్ట్ అవ్వలేదు చూసుకోండి హాయ్ స్వాతి హాయ్ స్వరూప్ వినిపిస్తుందా హలో స్వరూప్ స్వాతి నా ఐడియా క్లియర్ ఉందా స్వరూప్ చాలా క్లియర్ ఉంది మీది కొంచెం ఎందుకో లాంగ్ డిస్టెన్స్ నుంచి మాట్లాడుతున్నట్టు ఒక్కసారి చూసుకోరా చేసుకుంటున్నాను ఓకే దెన్ యా స్వాతి స్వాతి హలో హలో వినిపిస్తుందా అండి రమేష్ గారు వినిపిస్తుంది కానీ కొంచెం దూరంగా ఉంది వాయిస్ చిన్నగా ఉంది వాయిస్ పెద్ద అవసరం లేదు బస్ట్ జస్ట్ ఆ పీపీటీ లోడ్ చేసుకొని పెట్టుకోమనండి స్వాతి క్వాలిటీ చెప్పేశాను నేను ఓకే థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ మీ పాస్ అడిగారుగా ఇచ్చి పంపించాను శ్రీకాంత్ తీసుకోండి ఇచ్చాడండి థ్యాంక్ యూ ఓకే థ్యాంక్ బాయ్
వినీలా నా ఆడియో ఒకసారి చెక్ చేస్తావా వెరీ క్లియర్ ఇందాకట్ మీద కంపేర్ చేస్తే చాలా క్లియర్ క్రియేటివ్ స్పీకర్స్ ఎఫెక్ట్ ఓకే బై ఓకే సర్ నేను మిమ్మల్ని కోహోస్ట్ చేశాను సో కోహోస్ట్ అంటే ఏంటి సర్ అంటే యు కెన్ మూవ్ ఇన్ డిఫరెంట్ రూమ్స్ అంటే డాక్టర్స్ కి నర్సెస్ కి వాళ్ళ సెపరేట్ సెషన్స్ కదా సో యు విల్ బీ ఇంటు నర్సెస్ రూమ్ బట్ ఎనీ టైం ఇఫ్ యు వాంట్ టు కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు డాక్టర్స్ రూమ్ యు కెన్ బట్ మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది టైం మీరు తెరి రూమ్ లోనే ఉంటారు ఓకేనా ఓకే 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 నేను మిమ్మల్ని మూవ్ చేస్తాను నర్సెస్ రూమ్ లోకి బ్రేక్ అవుట్ స్టార్ట్ అయ్యాక సరే సరే ఓకే
hello vinila hi ma'am can i hey can i try screen sharing yes ma'am you can i'll stop my share thank you i'll practice thank you to see you can see no can you see my screen i can see yeah yeah i can see okay thanks
Very good afternoon, one and all. I see there are about 24 participants, uh, like excluding us, I see only like 18 of you have already who have joined for the session. So we'll just wait, it's exactly three o'clock. We'll just wait for a minute uh, or two and then start our actual introductory session. Hope it's all right with you all. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, okay, sure. Thank you. A small announcement to all of you. I still see uh, some participants joining with Galaxy M31, Oppo, and Samsung. So I request all of you to please rename yourself. Otherwise, it's very difficult to track the attendance. Kindly rename your uh, sorry. Kindly rename yourself. Bottom of your sc screen, you can see. Uh, an icon called participants. When you click that, you can see your name. Just right click and just rename yourself. Or if you can't do that, just type your name in the chat and we'll do it for you. Uh, it's already like uh, three minutes past three. So I think we should start now. Uh, once again, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, there's some uh, problem with my camera. So sorry about that. Uh, I'll try to fix it in, in a while. Uh, once again, uh, good afternoon. My name is Vinila. As you all know, I'm the program coordinator and the course coordinator for this six weeks palliative care course, uh, certificate course in pain and palliative care. And uh, I would like to introduce two faculty members. And before that, I would like to tell you about some Zoom etiquette. Please turn on your cameras and uh, please turn them on throughout the sessions. And turning off them, turning off the camera for a minute or two or maybe for five minutes is uh, acceptable. Otherwise, it's very difficult and we need a lot of interaction from you. And first, uh, first point, please rename yourself. So I still see... I think, yeah, most of you have done it. Thank you so much. Please go to participants and rename yourself. Otherwise, it's difficult to track the attendance. And then uh, if you have any question, please raise your hand and please feel free to ask. And if you're not able to ask the question, please always type your question in the chat box. And one of us will read, read out the question for the faculty. So with this, we will start our session. And we have two great faculty here. And today we are going to have two uh, doctor. Um, we have a faculty for the doctors and we have a faculty for nurses. So I hereby would like to introduce Dr. Gayatri Palak. 
So as you all know, you have met Dr. Gayatri Pallet during our introductory session and also during the last session, uh, during introduction to communication session. So Dr. Gayatri Pallet is a head and consultant in Department of Pain and Palliative Medicine at MNJ Cancer Hospital, Hyderabad. And Madam is also the managing trustee for this Hyderabad Center for Palliative Care, which in a collaboration with Two Worlds Cancer Collaboration and uh, University of uh, Jaffna, Northern Province, we are doing this course. And I also have uh, the senior faculty, nurse faculty. He's Mr. Terry. I'm sorry. So we have the nurse faculty with us here. He's Mr. Terry. It gives like a pleasure to introducing him. He's Mr. Terry Mice. He's basically a nurse practitioner and he's one of the nurses, nursing faculty and research associate, associate in Institute of Palliative Medicine in Koikot, Kerala. And he's one of the national faculty members at Indian Association of Palliative Care. And he's also the faculty member of Impact Healthcare. So uh, welcome, Terry. And I also have another senior nurse faculty with us today who is going to be one of the facilitators uh, for our session. He is Mr. Swarup Imaraju. I think I, Swarup Imaraju, uh, Swarup, can, you, can we all see you once? Yeah, Mr. Swarup Imaraju uh, is one of the senior most nurses working with our palliative care program in Hyderabad. And uh, he has more than 15 years of experience in palliative care working with our program. And he has been one of the senior most faculty for nurses for almost like 60 to 70 courses which have been conducted so far. Welcome, Swarup. Welcome, Dr. Gayatri Palat. And welcome, uh, Mr. Terry. And uh, over to you. Thank you very much, Vanilla, for the kind introduction. And I think we now we quickly will break um, uh, us, uh, us into two groups, doctor's group and nurse's group. I'm going to do that now. Parallel stream and then uh, start our respective session. Yes. I'm uh, breaking out. Already uh, doctors and nurses have been assigned to rooms. So I'm going to do that. And I requested Shweta to help me with that. Shweta, can you just please uh, help me with that? Uh, sure, ma'am. Uh, there would be a uh, breakout room option on your screen. So you can yes. just start. I'm here. So this actual one, two minutes. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yeah. So I mean, it's it's taking time. Like it's in progress. Just. Shweta, let us know when it's done. Yes, ma'am, it's almost done. Just a minute. Yes,
Hi, Shweta. It says like you are not joined. So, uh, uh, ma'am, actually, this is the main room. So once all the participants have been assigned to their breakout Zoom, the ones who are the co-host, uh, that is the faculty members and everyone would be re would remain in the main room. Then we can switch to the respective rooms. Uh, the faculty members can switch to the respective rooms. Okay, once it's all. My done. concern is like I have. Uh, like there are still 17 members who have not been assigned any uh, group. So how do we go about that? Uh, just give me a minute, ma'am. I'll assign them. I do have the list with me. Yes, please. Just Can you just make it fast? Yes, yeah, sure.
Uh, Vinila, ma'am. Shweta. Uh, ma'am, you can see, uh, like, oh, there is one participant. Uh, I'm not, I couldn't find the name, just a minute. Um, uh, uh, there is Galaxy A10s. Uh, I'm not sure the name of that participant. So, I mean, if that person could tell me. Just put him in the nurses group, no, please. Okay, okay, sure. Hello, excuse me. Uh, yes, yes, please. I am nursing staff. Okay, okay, just give me a minute. Uh, Ma'am, it's done. Like all have been assigned to their rooms. Thank you so much, Shweta. You're welcome, ma'am. Uh, uh, Vinila, ma'am, are you there? Yes, Shweta, I'm here. I'm going uh, to, to nurse's room now. Ma'am, actually, can you make uh, Pratik Negi from Echo India the co-host, as I told? Yeah, I'm going to do that. Yes, I've done it. Okay, thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah, okay. And uh, Kolendai, where are you uh, working? Uh, which organization you are working with? DGH uh, Klinoj. Okay, this is working the station Klinoj. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, it, this is like most of you are working in palliative care centers or medical college or uh, secondary care hospital or primary health centers. What is uh, is anyone working in a medical college setup? Can you can just unmute and tell me? Is anyone working in an exclusive palliative care center? Okay. Uh, and uh, Kamala Veni, ma'am, where, where are you working? Uh, District General Hospital, Mulatim, working okay. Uh, okay. at um, operating theater. Okay, 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 okay. That's nice. Oh, that's why you're in scrubs. <laughs> okay. Uh, Vinila, ma'am, are you here? Sorry, Terry. Uh, Terry, sorry. Uh, she just called me telling that you shared my uh, PPT. Uh, so, anyway, I'll be sharing that with you. Just to. Yes, uh, Swaru, okay. please go ahead. I think, I don't know, like for some reason, all of a sudden my system got fluctuating. So, sorry about that. So just please help me with okay. sharing the screen. Sorry, Terry. I'll just see what happened exactly. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Terry, for uh, giving no your time. No, yeah. no problem. Man. Ma'am, if it is a difficulty, I will start sharing from my side. If uh, my internet goes down, you can take over sharing. Yes. Is that okay? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah Terry. Even I'm ready with that. So if you have that opportunity, okay. you can just go forward with that. I'll be there in backup for you. Yeah. The only problem, my audio gets cut if I start sharing. I'm not in the institute. I'm at home. The internet is not very good here. Anyway, I'll start uh, the presentation. Let's see how it goes. And if needed, let's change. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, um, and thank you, ma'am, and uh, Swaru, for this opportunity to discuss the topics with you. Uh, today, we will be uh, talking about one of the basic uh, uh, problems that we commonly see in a palliative care setup. Uh, that is pain. Uh, we will be dealing with this topic as two different sessions. So today is uh, the first session on the topic of pain. Uh, we will uh, we will only be talking about introduction, pathophysiology, and assessment. Uh, I know when when we talk about pain, when we stop at uh, when we only talk about introduction, pathophysiology, and then finish with assessment, we we are kind of leaving it in a cliffhanger. You know, the main part of pain management comes much later. Uh, uh, but uh, probably we may have to wait. Uh, and I will give you some reading materials. 
to review these things so that you uh, familiarize with certain concepts uh, that we have to learn in the management and in the study of pain okay uh, I, I i i would really ask you to if possible uh, turn on your videos and uh, and uh, you know if you can you know really contribute to the discussion it will be very good I, I i i don't like to speak one way uh, lectures it will be good if you can give me some answers so that we can build on certain uh, important concepts and understand further so to start with uh, can somebody say what pain is what is pain what is pain can can somebody just unmute and tell what you what you think about pain anything that comes to your mind when you hear the word pain if if nobody is unmuting i may probably have to call on some names i hope you don't mind <laughs> okay. uh, pain is unpleasant sensation okay pain is always unpleasant okay it is an, it is two things that uh, you brought in in what you said one you one thing that you said is it is unpleasant the other thing that you mentioned is it is a sensation okay those are two important things okay let's let's build on further anyone else uh, what do you think pain is so then yes mm -hmm. what, what what is pain according to you <laughs> okay okay no problem we is what is the word that we use in tamil for pain vedana right vedana la வேதனை கேட்கும் போது உங்களுக்கு என்ன தோணுது ஐ ஐ ஸ்பீக் தமிழ்நாடு தமிழ் ஐ ஐ நோ தட் இட் இஸ் வெரி டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ஃப்ரம் த தமிழ் தட் யூ ஸ்பீக் இன் ஸ்ரீலங்கா யூனோ ஸ்ரீலங்கன் தமிழ் இஸ் மோர் பியோர் தட் இஸ் தமிழ்நாடு தமிழ் இஸ் லாஸ்ட் இட்ஸ் யூனோ பியூரிட்டி ஐ ஃபீல் ஐ ஹர்ட் ஸ்ரீலங்கன் தமிழ் ஸோ வேதனை வேதனைன்னு சொல்லும் போது உங்களுக்கு என்ன தோணுது anyone else kolandai tunbamaga irukkad avar tunbathai unarthu kolladar vedaniyaga irukkad tunbamaga irukkad okay okay very good very good okay kolandai solranga vedaniyum tunbam okay something close to what uh, kamalaveni said unpleasant tunbam okay okay uh, okay okay has does anyone know uh, uh, okay uncomfortable feeling okay very good so then okay it is always uncomfortable it is never when there is pain we never feel comfortable when we have pain uh, and we never feel pleasant when we have pain namak vedana varumbodhu namak inbam irukadu namak vedana varumbodhu adu dunbathe undukonu mostly very good okay anyone else wants to take uh, add some more அதாவது சரீர ரீதியாக மாத்திரம் நம்மளு உணர்ந்து கொள்ளுகிறது மாத்திரம் அல்ல நம்மளுடைய இமோஷனல் ரீதியாயும் இட் அஃபெக்ட்ஸ் அவர் இமோஷன் இமோஷனல் ரெஸ்பான்ஸ் இட் ட்ரிகர்ஸ் அண்ட் இமோஷனல் ரெஸ்பான்ஸ் வென் பீப்புள் ஹாவ் பெயின் மோஸ்ட்லி தே ஆர் சேட் okay when people are in pain they are irritated hmm? irritation irukum hmm? when people who are in pain when you see them they may be angry hmm? they may be frustrated okay so pain always triggers an emotional response huh? there is no pain without an emotion hmm? pain will always have an emotional component to it okay a- anything else that you want to share vera da solla virumbringla sendhuen lakshika carolyn okay 
ஓகே லெட்ஸ் லெட்ஸ் மூவ் ஃபார்வர்ட் ஓகே உங்களுக்கு வேதனை வரும்போது வென் யூ ஃபீல் பெயின் ஹவு டு யூ டிஸ்கிரைப் இட் எப்படி அதை வெளியே சொல்லுவீங்க normally you can uh, you have pain normally vedana irukku nu solluvinga vali irukku nu solluvinga okay okay vera edhavadhu vidhama solluvingla facial expression tamil expression tamil okay nala oru okay 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 thaanga mudiyala nu solluva tolerate panna mudiyala selara vedana varumbodhu அவங்களோட பாடி லாங்குவேஜ் மாறும் ஒரு எக்ஸ்பிரஷன் இருக்கும் எக்ஸ்பிரஷன்ஸ் இட் பண்ணலாம் அப்படி இல்ல சொன்னா Uh, crying okay okay there are many ways people express through their uh, face people express it as cry uh, people express it as frustration some people just keep quiet when they are in pain alle ellaro ore vidama vedanaya veli kondu varamaatanga selar romba amaidhiya irupanga selar koopaduvaanga selar thaniya irukku virumbuvaanga selar or comfortable ana position ku varuvaanga so people you know employ different ways to describe pain okay 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 nammal when like especially in palliative care when we you speak about pain there are certain important things that you have to keep in mind hmm? certain important things you have to keep in mind when 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 you say pain because pain is a very common symptom in palliative care hmm? uh, uh, more than 75 percentage of the patients with advanced cancer will have pain hmm? so pain is going to be one of the most common thing that you will see if you are working in a palliative care setup or if you are dealing with cancer patients hmm? okay always uh, keep in mind pain is a subjective experience hmm? Hmm? this is something that nobody said when we when we when i ask you to describe about pain subjective experience is on abina en what is what is a subjective experience pain is a subjective experience uh subject ullarnda unarva irukum ennu okay ullarnda unavu okay 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 is there anyone else who wants to uh, explain more on that subjective experience uh pain yaar uh, kirku avardhan adha express panna padiyum avarku than ummaya adha experience irukku okay very good very good this is much closer okay orthurku yaarku vedana irukku avu avoda vedanayoda mulu vivaramum mulu taakkamum manasalagum ari theriyum matha yaarku andha Uh, have you heard this expression ennoda vedane unak ennoda vedana unak theriyadu ennoda vedana unak puriyadu ennoda vedana enak maatram dhan theriyum only i can know my pain only you can never understand how painful it is for me you can never know ketrukingla adu yes yes okay okay pain is pain is a subjective experience only a person who has the pain knows the full extent of that pain hmm? nobody else can understand the full expect extent of the pain other than the person experiencing it okay nammalku theriyiradhu avanga alugiraanga avanga avanga kashtama irukanga dukka padranga vyagula padranga idella nammala paaka mudiyum ana namakku and vedanaya feel panna mudiyadhu we can only see okay 
we can only see how it affects that person but we can never understand the true extent of them that feeling that pain huh? so it is a highly subjective adanal when it is very important when we say it is subjective experience because idanal clinically the way we approach pain is very different in palliative care hmm? clinically the way we approach pain is very different in palliative care because pain is very subjective okay okay rendavathu pain is perceived what is the meaning when i say pain is perceived perceived na sonna enna what is perceived the meaning ara solringa carolyn is become awareness for something conscious okay okay awareness okay awareness is very synonymous with perception okay that is very good um what is your name tanujanan okay am i right am i pronouncing it yes, correctly yes, tanujanan yes yes, yes. Yes, yes okay thank you okay so when we say it is perceived it is felt hmm? that is what, that is when we call it perceived see when we say somebody is perceiving some something that we can see something that we can hear something that we can perceive by touch uh, understand experience by touch Uh, so that is what we call as perceived pain is also like that we can fully experience it huh? uh, one another thing when we say it is perceived is when something is perceived it can be manipulated hmm? or it can be changed huh? have you heard of disorders of perception disorders of perception category categorykingla there are two disorders common two disorders of perception another is hallucination illusion ketirukingla hallucination yes. and illusion okay these are two disorders of perception okay so why do i say pain is perceived huh? it differs between person to person for example uh, see in your nursing practice okay you would have noticed that some people make a big fuss for an injection they scream they shout huh? uh they create a big request when you go and give them injection and some people don't show any response you go and tell that i need to give you an injection this is a very small they don't bother they just pull up their sleeves show their hand and you pick them and they show no response patr kingla huh? and some people cry okay i have a video in my laptop where my brother is crying so much for a you know blood test huh? he was 20 27 years old when that video was recorded okay uh, some people create a big problem some people cannot tolerate pain hmm? other people have a big tolerance to pain so the way people perceive pain differs from one person to another person and the way we perceive pain is different at different circumstances namakku puriyara vedana nammala namma experience pandra vedana different vera vera samayathla vera vera ma irukum for example uh, see you have to go for your duty ninga ninga unga nursing duty ki poganum you are already late uh, you have to catch a bus uh, and you see the bus coming near the stop and you are just coming out of your home when you are coming out of your home you hit your hand against the door but the bus is waiting uh, the bus is waiting for you but you hit your hand against the door and it pains but you don't give any attention to that all your aim is in catching that bus and going and joining the duty on time hmm? probably after getting into the bus you will see where you have hit you check your hand eng edavadu kaayam pattirukana ellam paapom but till then we never bother alle huh? till then we never bother the same thing huh? in the middle of the night huh? thooko illa orakku illa hmm? uh, and you go to the kitchen huh? anni venu uh, go to the kitchen and on the way to the kitchen you hit your hand against the door uh, and there it creates a pain uh, have you noticed that there is a difference between the pain that you feel in the night and the pain that you feel when you are in a hurry uh, have you noticed this difference 
that we don't react to the painful stimulus, same painful stimulus, the same way in different circles. The same way. It differs in different circumstances. Other than you have to notice it. Hmm? When we are doing something, when our attention is somewhere, we don't give a lot of importance to a painful stimulus. Huh? We, when we are doing, when we are in a hurry, the painful stimulus is not so intense for us. But when we don't have anything to do, when our sleep is disturbed, when we are bored, huh? even a small painful stimulus, intensity is felt very different. Did I make sense? Tanujanan, did I make sense? Or is it confusing? Uh, 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 there is a, sir, uh, yeah, now I am in call. Yeah, I just I called. The patients called me. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, have you understood this difference? The way you feel the pain is different at different circumstances? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. So, so this is this happens even to us. Okay. It is not just a different person for even to us, the way we feel pain is different in different circumstances. That is why uh, it is very important to understand that the pain is actually perceived. Huh? It is experienced through multiple stimulus. So when the stimulus changes, the way we perceive pain is also very different. Okay. This is this is one of the common uh, definitions that we use uh, to describe pain. This is this this definition is by IASP, uh, where they describe pain as unpleasant. Uh, we all said this initially. Huh? Pain is an unpleasant sensation. Nobody enjoys pain. Yar me vedana oru inbamana kari ono soltar dikadiyad. Vedana epo me oru usually a dunbamana kari. It is an unpleasant, unpleasant sensation. It is not just a physical sensation. It has an emotional component to it. Namakka vedana varumbo adhi namalodiye emotion na affect pannu. Namakka namma dukkam avo, namma kova padu avo, namma erichal padu avo. So it affects. But the definition also says it is always associated with um, a tissue injury. Vedana epa varuna namakura tissue injury undagumbam varu. Tissue injury ninga soldranga, one actual tissue injury, the other one is potential tissue injury. Adavadu, na kila vulgaran, apa inakura kayam patriche, I have an injury. And the injury or vedana undakad. That injury causes pain. But sometimes, even without injury, there may be pain. For example, I am kicking myself here like this. But when I do that, there is no injury. But the reason is because this impact can cause injury. The impact which can cause injury also can create pain. And that is what this definition says. This is just a definition, but most important thing that we have to keep in mind is this is a definition by one of the eminent uh, uh, palliative care physicians called Robert Wycross. Pain is what the patient says hurts. That's patient Pain is what the person says hurts. This is a very important definition. When you see pain as what the patient says, we actually value it. We actually give importance to it and we accept it. So this is this is the definition that we usually use, use in palliative care. Pain is what the patient says hurts. Uh, I, I earlier said pain is perceived. So, we can feel it, we can experience it, we can feel it. The way we feel pain can be increased and can be decreased. We can feel pain in the same way. We can feel pain in the same way. For example, if a patient is in a patient, we are going to give them an injection. 
that patient is likely to feel pain more than a patient who is not scared. Namukku erkanave talavali ikkudu, talavedana irukku. I don't know how many of you have migraine. Does anyone have migraine problem in this group? Migraine pressure irukkudungla? Yarkaadu? I have migraine, okay? I, I take a lot of... Okay, okay. See, when you have migraine and you are bored, okay? And you, you also have migraine. The way your, your attention is always on that pain. Huh? And it constantly reminds us that we have pain and we are disturbed. But you have migraine and you are engaging yourself with something. You have something to do. You may not really feel the full intensity of the pain. Huh? And you are also, see, you have pain and you are also not sitting in a comfortable position. For example, same, you can take same migraine. You are traveling and you have migraine and you, uh, and you have not gotten a seat to sit down. Hmm? That actually disturbs you a lot. Hmm? And after some time, somebody gets up and you got a seat to sit. You actually feel, the pain does not disappear, but you actually feel relieved because your discomfort has come down. So that actually contributes to the way you feel the pain differently. You feel the intensity of the pain decreases. You have pain. When you don't sleep, the intensity of the pain increases. If you sleep well, the intensity of the pain decreases. We are alone. We are alone. Uh, this usually happens in patients who have uh, malignancy and fungating wounds. Uh, they have pain and they are left alone. Uh, that adds to their pain. Uh, when they are alone, they don't have anything to think about. They don't, they don't have anything to uh, you know, uh, do about. Uh, so what they will do, they will think about their cancer so, and they will think about their pain. So the more and more attention goes to their ability, disease and pain. And that actually increases the way they perceive pain and their pain intensity, their attention is given to their pain. So the way, the way they feel the pain, they feel the full extent of their pain. But a person has cancer, but he has a very good support. There is a wife who is always with him. There is a wife who always tell, tells him, I am always with you. I will never leave you. Huh? That companionship, huh? that companionship actually gives them a strength to face things and their pain intensity comes down. Huh? Uh, or a psychological component, a strength is there. So the intensity of the pain that they perceive is less. So there are certain things in a person's life or in a patient's life that exacerbates the pain and there are certain things that decreases the pain. Huh? So pain is never a separate entity. Pain is always influenced, decreased and increased by things that are happening around. This is something that we all have to know. Uh, if you go through this, uh, you will understand there are certain things that decreases the pain. There are certain things that increases the pain. Any questions till now? So then, you have any questions? No, no. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, I keep calling the same names because you're the only ones you have keep kept your video on. I don't know if others are even there. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. Next, next, there is this is very important uh, aspect when we speak about pain. No? Uh, Whatever we saw is about pain in general, but in palliative care or in cancer care, what you will often see is not just pain, it is there is something called chronic pain. Is my audio clear? Yes, sir. Okay, what is, what is a chronic pain? The pain is uh, present more than six months. Okay. Okay, okay. You, you directly took the definition of chronic disease, which says any disease more than six months is a chronic disease. Okay, that's a good thinking. <laughs> okay. 
the definition of the word chronic okay six months okay anyone else wants to attempt what is a chronic pain okay chronic pain is something that is persistent a pain that is persistent or recurrent and lasting more than 3 months uh, it is not 6 months in when it comes to pain it is actually 3 months but this 3 months cut off is very arbitrary huh? it is not a very standard cut off okay something that clearly defines chronic pain is these two words inge koduthirukka rendu vaartha da chronic pain la romba important a pain that is persistent eppo hmm? irukum ஒரு வேதனை எப்போ இருந்துச்சுன்னா கீப்ஸ் கம்மிங் பேக் இட் இஸ் ரிகரண்ட் போகும் ஆனா திருப்பி 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 வந்துகிட்டே இருக்கும் ஒரு நாள்ல கொஞ்ச நேரம் வேதனை இல்லாம இருக்கும் பட் கொஞ்ச நேரம் கழிச்சு அந்த வேதனை திருப்பி வரும் தட் இஸ் வாட் வி கால் இஸ் ரிகரண்ட் அ பெயின் தட் இஸ் பர்சிஸ்டன்ட் தட் இஸ் ரிகரண்ட் இஸ் வாட் வி கால் இஸ் கிரானிக் பெயின் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஒரு கேன்சர் பேஷண்ட் இருக்காங்க there is a cancer patient okay for example ca buccal mucosa hmm? ca buccal mucosa irukku there is an ulcer because of the cancer so because of this ulcer there is a tissue damage hmm? in the tissue damage irukkadunala okay this patient will have pain as long as this patient has this cancer this pain is going to be there hmm? and the cancer maarna da and the vedaniyum maarum hmm? so this chronic pain is secondary to cancer and as long as this cancer stays this pain is going to be there so this pain is going to be persistent for some time at least until the treatment uh, completely resolves the disease there will be pain hmm? so that is what we call persistent hmm? the pain is persistent and it comes back again and again and again hmm? okay when you, when you when you, when we deal with chronic pain uh, we have to keep in mind chronic pain severely affects the quality of life or uh, chronic pain illa pulla patient ku sandoshamave irukka mudiyadu sandoshama irukkuradhu romba kashtama irukum there will not be any satisfaction or uh, chronic pain irukumbodhu there will not be any satisfaction uh, uh, i have a uh, i'll just uh, i have a friend okay enakku edakedeyla migraine varum and the friend ku edakedeki migraine varum and whenever i get migraine i will immediately take tablet hmm? because i don't want to experience that pain so i know some triggers enakku migraine varapodunu sila triggers irukku so when i know the triggers are coming i will immediately take the tablet so that migraine does not get worse hmm? but this person will never take any tablet okay he is a med- this person is a medical professional but will not take any tablet will go through that migraine and after at the night that person will sleep and the next day it will all be all right but throughout the day the migraine will be there uh, and this person will go on tolerating that pain and then will go to sleep and the next day starts and after some time the migraine will come this this goes on and on hmm? i asked this person hmm? uh, has anyone told you that you are very impatient ninga romba kovakaranu yaradhu sollirukkaangala நீங்க ரொம்ப சமாதானமா இல்லாதது யாராவது சொல்லியிருக்காங்க திஸ் பர்சன் சே மை ஸ்பவுஸ் என்னோட கணவர் எப்பவுமே அது சொல்லுவாங்க நான் ரொம்ப கோவப்படுறேன் நான் ரொம்ப இரிட்டபுளா இருக்கேன் என்னோட ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் சொல்லுவாங்க ஐ ஹாவ் அ ஷார்ட் ஃபியூஸ் ஷார்ட் ஃபியூஸ் மீன்ஸ் யூனோ யூ யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் பட்டு பட்டுன்னு அவங்களுக்கு கோபரம் யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் த ரீசன் திஸ் பர்சன் ஹூ இஸ் கோயிங் த்ரூ த பெயின் கெனாட் ஹோல்ட் தி ஆங்கர் இட் அஃபெக்ட்ஸ் தட் பர்சன் இமோஷனலி they cannot be actually happy huh? so happiness is like they will be always sad they will be always gloomy because they have pain hmm? so uh, chronic pain severely affects the quality of life huh? they will not be able to enjoy anything hmm? uh, it will all be sad and gloomy saapada thonadu thookam varadu so quality the chronic pain severely affects the quality of life hmm? and severely affects the mood of the person hmm? sometimes they may be sad sometimes they are irritated when the pain increases they are frustrated uh, treatment edutho sariyagala they will not cooperate uh, many times when we go for home care uh, the patient's family will say 
the patient is very irritable he is not cooperating with anything huh? already he is having cancer but he is not willing to eat anything he is always sad huh? he is not speaking much so this this always happens chronic pain severely affects the mood okay and because of that it is not just the patient who suffers it is also the family who suffers okay uh, one of the very important things that we should keep in mind is that patient who has chronic pain does not actually appear to be in pain avangala ninga paathina avangalukku vedana irukra maadhiriye theriyadu this is something that we have to always keep in mind when especially when you deal with cancer pain namma yosippom or cancer pain varumbodhu ayyo patient bayangarama kattuvaanga bayangarama aluvaanga bayangarama romba satham poduvaanga that happens only in very small portion of patients when there is an excess of and the cancer pain thidirnu koodumba da and aluvirathu kattrathu satham podrathu varum but most cancer patient if you see they will be quiet romba amediya irupanga adhigama pesa maatanga they will they will be very quiet if you ask something nama edavadhu ketomna avanga oru vaartha illa rendu vaartha illa badhil solvaanga they will speak only very few words in such patient you should explore explore more because when there is a chronic pain it severely affects them and they actually keep quiet Hmm? the way their body changes there are lot of changes uh, that happens in a person who has chronic pain and the, what are the changes that happens in a patient with chronic pain we will see okay okay this is the difference between acute pain and chronic pain okay acute pain is transient konja neram da irukum na keela velunde enak ora kaiyila adi pattruchu அந்த காயம் ஆறுற வரைக்கும் தான் இருக்கும் அந்த காயம் ஆறிருச்சுன்னா அந்த வேதனை மாறிடும் எனக்கு அப்பெண்டிசைட்டஸ் வந்துருச்சு சர்ஜரி பண்ணாங்க அதுக்கப்புறம் அந்த வேதனை போயிருச்சு சர்ஜரி பெயின் சர்ஜரி ஸ்கார் ஹீல் ஆயிருச்சு அதுக்கப்புறம் அந்த வேதனை மாறிடுச்சு ஸோ தட் இஸ் வாட் இஸ் அக்யூட் பெயின் அக்யூட் பெயின் தட் பென் தட் இல்னஸ் ஸ்டாப்ஸ் அக்யூட் பெயின் இஸ் ஆல்சோ ஸ்டாப்ஸ் சம்டைம்ஸ் ஈவன் பிஃபோர் த இல்னஸ் தி அக்யூட் அக்யூட் பெயின் ஸ்டாப்ஸ் but chronic pain is not like that consider cancer cancer is a chronic disease so as long as the patient has cancer there will be pain if hmm? cancer marudho appa dhan the vedane maarum so if if you don't treat pain na sonna illa munadi sonna bodu or patient ku carcinoma buccal mucosa irukku so till you remove that cancer the pain is going to be there hmm? so the pain is going to be persistent and pain is going to be unremitting unremitting is when our treatment kudukra varaikum the vedana maaradu and the pain is going to be recurrent until there is a major change in their diagnosis okay so uh, so acute pain uh, is a symptom okay when you have an acute pain okay i have an injury uh, uh, and my pain shows me that i have an injury i have pain in uh, you know uh, appendicitis uh, and the area la lower abdominal pain ku vedana irukku that shows me that my appendix is inflamed so it is a symptom but sometimes cancer pain can become a disease in itself sila cancer patients ku cancer cure aanalo and the vedana irukum because the damage is already done and that pain continues and in a patient with cancer the pain itself becomes a big problem that requires a separate management hmm? that is what we will see in the next class how do we manage uh, chronic pain so it becomes a disease in itself which requires a separate attention hmm? okay uh, so in acute pain it, it it tells you that something is wrong hmm? but in chronic pain you know what is wrong but the pain continues so it actually serves no useful purpose namak enna or or patient ku cancer patient ku vedana irukkum bodhu namak enna prachana nu theriyum but therinjum a vedana continue agum unless you treat that pain so that is that is one one very big drawback or very or one of the difficult things when a cancer patient suffers we know what is wrong but sometimes we feel very helpless another thing about one major difference between acute pain and chronic pain is uh, 
autonomic concomitants are present.